अमृतसर साउथ पंजाब से शिरोमणि अकाली दल के विधायक हैं बहुत बहुत स्वागत सत्कार के साथ यहां भारतीय छात्र संसद के मंच से रोहानी जी और हमारे तमाम विशिष्ट अतिथियों के साथ सम्मान करते हैं आदर्श युवा विधायक पुरस्कार देकर 2007 में काउंसलर बने थे उसके बाद 2008 में और 2011 में वो पंजाब में विधायक के रूप में चुने गए उन्होंने युवाओं के लिए शिक्षा के लिए समाज के लिए बहुत से कार्य किए हैं और आज इसीलिए इस पुरस्कार के लिए उनको चुना गया है वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू वन एंड ऑल प्रेजेंट हेयर एज रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ द पीपल आई हैव टेकन अप द चैलेंज एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ डूइंग माई बेस्ट टू हेल्प कन्वर्ट द ड्रीम्स ऑफ द यूथ ऑफ पंजाब टू रियालिटी पंजाब द फूड बास्केट ऑफ इंडिया हैज पीपल हु हैव द स्पिरिट ऑफ डू अर डाई who bravely faced the brunt of senseless violence during the partition of india and still came up as one of the richest states today i am humbled to share this platform with the distinguished personalities from different walks of life i owe this honor to the chief minister of punjab Sardar Prakash Singh Badal and the Deputy Chief Minister and President Shiromani Akali Dal Sardar Sukhbir Singh Badal who have engaged our generation into politics standing here i view a sea of youthful faces with eager exuberance and hopeful expression you remain me of the rivers of punjab gurgling gushing with energy imbibed from their himalayan cradle ready to take the mighty falls and challenges as they prepare to enter the plains where they stand and begin to hem its flow expands yet it strives moves forward overcoming all barriers to its final destination the sea yes dear friends you are a reflection of that mighty river the life force of india the india that nurtures nourishes with the traditions and values you grow from strength to strength soon you begin to see absorb and understand the environment around you accordingly you choose your career some want to be bankers some want to be business tycoons and so on politics politicians are still very low on your career option it's time to change the list the new millennium demands it especially in india the failures of the 20th century have cast a dark shadow over humanity the two world wars closer to home we saw the most violent partition assassination of leaders civil wars communal riots surging terrorism and worst of all indifference indifference of a nation to a nation indifference of people to other people around them we have all become morally ill because we are used to saying something different from what we think this is an offense against humanity skeptical and estranged many of our young people today look out on a world where they have made they survey its conflicts with apprehensions therefore in this new millennium it should be the moral duty and prerogative of the youth to start the process of healing and restoration by getting into the system and what better way of doing it by joining politics the youth with its ever ready zeal and vigor is the answer to the ever changing times you are more flexible you are more aware 
exposed and open to the new challenges and options. Look how the nation, especially the youth, have rallied around Nirbhaya. And I believe a change will occur not only in the system, but in the hearts of men and women. Today, Nirbhaya's parents have lost a daughter. But they must be overwhelmed to see many more daughters they have got. The power of youth is the real power, a force behind movements that bring a change. The history of India has time and again proved this. It was the young Bhagat Singh, Raj Guru, Sukhdev, who died smiling at the gallows for the nation. It was the young Mangal Pandey, Rani of Jhansi, who defied the British. Go further back in history, Veer Shivaji, who challenged the mighty Mughals. History is replete with its innumerable instances where the youth have changed its course. The magic word to achieve this is step in. Take responsibility and become good leaders to all those people in the huts and villages, struggling to break, break the bonds of mass misery. Pledge your best efforts to help them, help themselves for period, for whatever period is required, not because you seek their votes, but because it is right and just. For a society that cannot help many who are poor, cannot save the few who are rich. Politics, like all careers, will have its ups and downs. Winston Churchill once said, politics, politics is almost as exciting as a war, but quite as dangerous. In war, you can be killed once, but in politics, many times. But then, politics is a marathon. It is not a sprint. Lastly, I would like to emphasize on complacency. Don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without thinking. Do things not because of how society thinks you should act, but because of who you are and what you believe in. So dear friends, move with extraordinary hope. Believe in yourself for what for on you depends the tomorrow. Don't try to help everyone. Just try to help someone. Thank you.